All right, so we know that we're able to put things into our database, which is wonderful. But next, now let's go ahead and see if we can retrieve something because it's always nice to have that gratification, if you will. Okay, so to do that, first simply, you probably should know how to do this by now, but we're gonna do together anyway, because I'm a nice guy. So let's go to no do screen here. And I'm going to create at the bottom here, a method, I'm gonna call this read, no do list as such. I'm gonna make this a sync because we can. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna create a list called these items. I'm gonna call a wait and say db dot get items. Okay, because we just want all of those items. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna say items dot. I'm gonna use this for each here. I'm just gonna say item iterator there and what I'm gonna do here let's see there we could have used it a for loop but we can use this for each it's a good habit to get into no do item because I need to create the actual object say no do item I'm gonna use the no do item and use the map because we're gonna be receiving these objects right from our list and we're going to map them up so we can actually have objects so where is our list well our list is items so now i can say print db items and i can go ahead and say no do like that and say dot item name okay so what we can do now, let's see where can we call this so that uh, we can actually see things happening. Well, what we can do inside of, uh, inside of our state here at the top, I can actually override the init state method. So what this init state met method is going to do is each time that we have to reinstate our state, or in this case, our application or redraw our views or our, our screen then this method it will be called first so what i usually do i can say command n and i find the implement overrides actually we do command n and i find the override methods and you see there's a lot of them but the cool thing is you can actually say in fact it's in there in its state but if you didn't see it you can say init state and you can see it finds it so click there and we have our init state now, you notice here we have to also say super because we need to always call this super and need state to set everything up that we don't need to worry about. That's very important. And then I'm going to go ahead and call read to do list like this. Okay. Now, if I restart, let's see, I need to pass item like this. I think that's what's going to help. Let's give it a run. And look at that. Now we have says DB items and shows beer, right? Because that's the only item that we have. Let's go ahead and add one more item here. Let's see, we are an Android. Let's say by, let's say let's say by water let's save now we'll have to restart or reload actually have to run all the way because that only happens you can see now we have db items by water items beer and as many as we want to add they will indeed be uh, received and we can see them very nice so we are able now to see that we are able to indeed to retrieve all the data that we get from our database now, the idea here is, of course, to make sure, because at this point we're adding things, but nothing is showing here, is each time we click here and we add something, we're going to save that something, that new item into our database. But when we save it, we want it to show here as a row or as a list view. Okay, so let's do that. So what do we need to do at the top here? We're gonna create another final instance variable this instance variable here I'm gonna call this list 
which will contain a no do no do items call this item list and it's going to make it an empty one I'm going to say no do item like this okay so what we're we doing now we're creating a list which contains type no do and we're instantiating you have to because we made it final right instantiate it to be a no an empty one okay so we're gonna each time we add items into our database or each time users enter something to save we're gonna populate add the, those items that we're adding into our item list okay now we have to be a little bit strategic here because what we need to do is all of that has to happen inside of a handle submit okay because this is where we're creating our object add into a database and so forth now this item list like I said again we're gonna be adding all the items that we're gonna be adding anything that's been added by the user but ultimately this is what we are going to use to then add to our row what I mean by that is the following what I'm gonna do inside of our submit here I'm going to pass a set state remember now what it is set state is going to do is going to redraw our view because that's exactly what we want we want to be able to as we click here we add something the moment we save right it saves something empty which is not right but in any case the moment we save this will clear and then we should see whatever it's been saved in in our database which means we have to invoke our list view which then will invoke all of database uh, functions to get information from our database. That's the reason why we have to do that inside of a set state because we're saying something needs to be redrawn, something changed, the state changed, and we need to redraw our views in order for us to be able to see those changes. Okay, that's why here we're gonna go ahead and say items list. I'm gonna insert we're gonna pass the index it's gonna be zero and the element of course what we're gonna do is we're gonna pass the added item in this case let's just call added item now we haven't created this added item here now how do we get an added item well here's the thing there's two things that are happening here this added item is going to show up once the item where it was saved so here we are saving the item now we need a way to get that item that was added so we can insert in our list okay that way we can actually show in our view so another operation we're going to do here i'm going to say no do item i'm going to call this added item it's going to be equal to await db dot get item right and we have to pass our saved item id ah you remember this is the reason why we have this saved item id because we need it so that we can get it and then be able to add again into our item list now this item list again this is very important is going to be used for us to be able to populate our list view which we're going to create in a second here okay all right, let, let's continue here so we don't lose our thought process. Let's go to where we were building. So we we're back here. This is where the magic happens. So we are just returning a column, a new column. Let's just say new column for now. I'm paranoid now. I think this should work okay, but I'll just put a new just in case. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to say children. And now I'm going to create a new flexible. Okay, this is where we're going to put together the actual list view here so we can see everything working uh, for a child I'm going to say new list view builder as such and I have item builder and so forth so as you know we have to pass a context here uh, in this case I'm just going to go ahead and pass an underscore say int index okay like this perfect at the top before we even build anything I'm gonna just put a few things here I'm gonna give it a padding I'm gonna say padding say new edge insets that all of about 8.0 I'm gonna say reverse I'm gonna say false you'll see why and we'll work 
around that in a second here but okay let's go down and see the item builder this is we're going to be building our row okay so what i'm going to do here i'm going to pass in a color actually so what i'm going to do here, i'm going to return right because an item building returns an actual widget well the widget we're going to be returning is going to be a card because we want to take advantage of all of the properties that a card gives us so i'm going to give it a color colors dot white just give it about 10 not too white okay and i'm going to say child i'm going to say new list tile and here i'm going to say title well the title i'm going to go ahead and say items go look at the beautiful items i'm going to pass in the index okay because again we are going to be passing the index that's going to be passed as we build the builder okay and let's close like that for now okay so that's it remember this item list here that's the reason why we put all at the top here so it's visible everywhere all right so anytime we say submit it's going to go and say set state it's going to go and insert into our list of all these items which we need of course to populate our list view and re remember we could have done we could have made it so that each time we are adding items we are just adding onto the screen but not necessarily getting the items from the database so the reason why we're doing this is because we want to make sure that if we end up deleting that item that we are seeing in a row we're actually deleting the item in a database right because if we just get this item that we're getting right now here or whatever the user is getting and we could create an object like we did here like our own object it would still work we could have just get this no item no do item and add it here it would work but the problem is every time we do something with the item that we're seeing on the screen it's not going to affect the database which is not right that's the reason why we are taking this extra step that the item that we're adding into our list here is very important we're actually getting it from a database each time that we add okay let's go ahead and give it a save and run this hopefully everything works all right so we're having some issues here let's see unhandle this not very helpful let's click on one of these and see uh i think we forgot something we forgot to pass the items item count right because this is a list view builder so we need to pass in the item items the item count so that it knows exactly how many items to expect so i'm going to say item list dot length right about here let's go ahead and say new divider give a height of about 1.0 let's see what else can we do so for our card let's go ahead and add a few more things here so we have color child list tile title since we're here i'm going to say on long press just going to give an empty thing right now say debug something like that we'll see that in a second and the other thing we can add here is trailing right so what is it that we want uh, at the end of this row, we're going to put an actual new listener. Okay, you see, look at this. And the key is going to be new key. I'm going to pass here the items list, passing the index dot item name. We'll talk about this in a second. I'm going to give a child of new icon so this is going to be the delete icon of course Let's say icons that removes circle like that let's give it a color uh, colors that red accent very good and then I'm going to say on point pointer down what I want th to happen I'm going to pass a pointer event and then 
then I'm going to say for now I'm just going to pass something for now I'm just going to say debug like that okay I think this is good let me save this and give it a quick run all right so here I should return a new card <laughs> that's the problem okay let's looks like it always needs new let's just run this to see how all this works ah again maybe it will work for you because you have a better version of flutter I'll have to reinstall everything I'll actually update let's run this one more time There we go. Whew. Okay, so same problems we were having before. Just have to add new there. Okay, let's go ahead and add something. I'm going to say hello just to test and see and save. And voila. Okay, you can see hello created. And there we go. It looks really awesome. So we're having some issues here, but these are small issues. It's just the, it's the way that we've added our rows inside of this uh, list row here but we can change that uh, in the next video but at least we know now everything we add here another one if you go save it's gonna be saved there very nice and you see also that other items that we've added are not showing here that's totally fine we'll fix all of that no problem okay so in the next video what we're gonna do we're gonna clean things up a little bit here to make sure that we don't run into these issues all right, perfect. I'll see you next.